Konnichiwa minasan. Today I want to teach you the verb to come. In infinitive, to come is kuru. And the kanji is like this. So, infinitive kuru. But this is an exception. And for the future tense, we say kimas. For past tense, kimashita. So, this is the onyomi, the Japanese reading. So, if the kanji is alone in the sentence, and on the right side, on the left side is some hiragana or suffixes, so this, this means the kanji is alone. If the kanji is alone, we read, we are using the onyomi. This is in English the translation, Japanese reading. And we have also, uh, I'm sorry, kunyomi. And we have also the onyomi reading. In English the translation is Chinese reading. And we use it when the kanji is together with another kanji and the meaning is changing. So, uh, for kuru, infinitive, to come, the same kanji I want to use in the meaning next month. Rai getsu. Rai getsu. Rai gets means next month. And next I want to teach you the verb of to read. Yomu. Infinitive form is yomu. The future tense is yomimas. Yomu, future, yomimas, past, yomimashita. And next, I want to teach the verb to eat. Taberu. Taberu is uh, the second group of the verbs, so I will teach it later, but to say also here, uh, we have to throw the ru and put the suffix. If you want to make the future tense, I gonna eat, I will eat, tabemas. The past tense is, I ate, tabemashita. And for the next, I want to teach you to drink in Japanese. Nomu. Nomu. It's the second group, uh, it's the first group of kanji verb. So, nomu, future tense, nomimas, I gonna drink. Nomimashita, I drank. And next, I want to teach you the kanji, the word, sometimes. Before I teach you the hour, it means also time. We read this Toki Doki Toki Doki Thank you for today. See you on basic two next time.